And it's those who make that adjustment that seem to be succeeding here today as we get set for the men's now. The men now, the uh, men's bronze medal match here in Shanghai. A Frenchman against a Malaysian. And there in the red jersey on the left, Thomas Aubert from France. And on the right, Cheng Chusian of Malaysia. The French fans cheering on Thomas Aubert, who beat his fellow Frenchman, Gael Prevost, 6-4. Also defeated Juan Rodriguez of Spain in a quarterfinal shootout. Lost to Dimitro Rachov of the Ukraine, 6-2 in the semis. But has reached this bronze medal match. He's ranked 17th in the world. And he'll be facing Cheng Chusian of Malaysia, who made my partner a uh, commentator today. <laughs> you got to uh, compete against him this week, as did Piotr Novak. Both of uh, those matches going the way of Cheng Chusian, who did eventually fall to Brady Ellison of the United States in the semifinals, six and two. But you know him very well, having competed against him this week. Tell us about Cheng Chusian. Oh, he's a very uh, Compassionate competitor. I know that he's a very good shooter. He didn't have a qualification round that he had hoped for, but uh, even though he seeded himself low, he can still shoot when the pressure is on, when it really matters, and he knows what he's doing. So he's not one of those guys you can really take for granted. He's a very, very good shot. And he was a high ranker at the 2008 Olympics, and uh, I mean, we're in for a very good match. Here. Juicy on. Won a silver medal with the Malaysian men's team in Shanghai last fall, but we'll start off with the Frenchman Thomas Aubert. Ranked 12th in the world last August, yes. just 24 years old, and that's the way you start a match. L'engagement, hein? que ça. Mr. Cheng. Eight points. Eight. Falling behind on the very first arrow. Hop. Et active jusqu'au bout. C'est ça. Tiens. Nine points for Thomas Aubert. That one looked not as lively as his first shot. It kind of looked a little uh, dead, kind of still. Tiens. And Cheng Chusian looks like he's succumbing to that right tendency that we saw in the morning with all the other teams. It is nine and eight. It's very good grouping, but Thomas Aubert can lock this one away with another nine. That's an eight. Ah. Opens so the door a bit. Does open the door slightly for Cheng. If Cheng can shoot a 10, then they'll have one set point each. Again, it's a race to six set points. That's a nine, so Thomas Aubert still takes the first set. So despite that eight, Aubert are able to survive that, take the first set, and grab the two set points, and take that two nothing lead. So Bear and Cheng Chusian coming up in just a few moments. We'll have the gold medal match between Dmitro Rachov of the Ukraine and Brady Ellison of the United States. So you'll want to stay tuned for that. The first things first, we've got the bronze to decide and to settle. And right now, Bear, by winning that first set, goes up 2 nothing. We've been talking about the wind all day long, a little bit about like golf. The golfers who can handle the wind and windy conditions. Um, they're the ones who adapt to certain situations and are able to, to handle those and survive. Yeah, and we're seeing that here with the, it, at this level, I should correct myself on what I said before. Each archer, every archer at this level can handle the wind. It's just the archers who can make the adjustments accordingly for the wind quickest right. at this level. So I'm pretty sure Cheng is going to start shooting in the middle now. He's had three arrows to sight in. Uh, okay, yep, I talked too soon. But even though he's got an eight out right, he's going to be looking to bring it over. And he could do... Super, Thomas. <sighs> now that was fun, because uh, that didn't look like a good shot by Thomas's face expressions, but uh, it's still a 10. For Cheng, he's got two options. Either he can move his sight to the right or just start aiming more left. In this type of wind, I would pick the aiming more left. And there he goes. He's on the left side of the 10 ring now. He's aimed a little bit too much, but it's uh, it's still a step up from the eight. Making the adjustment, and there is a tough shot right there. Mm -hmm. That's a just, nine. Yeah, on the line. On the line, but it's in. And we can still see how much the wind is, is blowing out there, those flags out there. 
Shang. Ten points. That's on the line. It's in, though. However, Thomas Obera just needs to put an arrow inside the goal, inside the yellow, and he will win this second set. Solid. Dix. Oh, so oh. what happens is they both tied at 27 points, and each archer receives one set point. So 27 all in that second set. They do split the set points. One point going to Cheng Chusien, and the other point going to Tomas Aubert. So the plot thickens a little bit as the score goes to 3-1 to one right now in favor of Aubert. He's exchanging notes with his coach right now. So at least two more sets are going to be shot in this match because in a race to six, when one of them is an odd number, we have to have one more set. By the way, we'll be back tomorrow with more of the 2012 Archery World Cup Stage 1 from Shanghai. It'll be the compound competition where they'll be shooting from 50 meters compared with the 70 meters that you see here today on this field of play. Constructed especially for this competition. There is an eight high to the left. And you can see him shaking his head. He's really good at laughing off his bad arrows. I, I've noticed that ever since 2008. And I think he's just overcompensated having that eight. Thomas Aubert's first shot is a nine asterisk. However, I think it's on the line. Cheng Chu Xian only has 20 seconds to shoot his arrow, so we can see he's got five seconds left. Eight points. And that was a very rushed shot. Um, usually you get about 30 seconds to shoot your arrows, but in the finals you're only allowed 20 seconds per arrow. And this can start playing on some people's mind games. They can play, mm -hmm. play mind games on some people because they'll try to rush their shot, but in actual fact when they rush it, they tie up and they actually slow their shot down. That's unver very unfortunate for Cheng Chu Xian with three eights. And you can see he's laughing it off, but uh, deep down inside I know he's very, very uh, displeased with that. Yeah, Aubert holding up nicely though, and he wins the set, picks up two more points, and grabs a five to one lead. So he's in good shape, but not out of the woods necessarily yet. Not yet, but his job for the next set is kind of easier because he can still tie with Cheng Chu Xian on the next set in, uh, in the set score and still win because of the tie. He will get one set point, and because he's already at five, that'll put him at six, which gives him the win. If he wins the set outright, then he has a 7-1 victory over Cheng. But if Cheng wins, then the score is going to go to 5-3. So a bear can sense it, can smell it. He knows he's close, leading 5-1. With a look across the river, it almost looks like there might be a little bit of inclement weather headed our way. So hopefully we can get this match over and done with before we get hit possibly by some rain. Could make things interesting for the uh, Rachov ellison matchup coming up right after this one. A look at the skyline here in Shanghai. Surreal, almost. And there's a great shot by... Solid 10 by Chang. Chang. Nine. Again, Thomas Aubert just has to tie with Cheng in this set to win the match. Another nine. So now it's Thomas Aubert's turn. And the wind is definitely picking up out there. Six. Six or seven. Too I'll give him a call. seven unofficially. Mm -hmm. But so now the door is open for Cheng Chu Xian. Our spotters have a better vantage point than we do. And Cheng yeah. takes that set, so yeah. it is 5-3. This shot for Thomas is just going to be to get his shot back, but uh, it's another seven. He was very surprised by it. It looked like it went off a little bit too early. 
But again, the conditions out there are starting to get worse. The wind's starting to whip here along Riverside Boulevard as the cargo ships and the barges continue to steam by. And we have moved through four sets now in this bronze medal match in men's recurve competition. Tomas Aubert conferring with his coach after dropping that set. Actually, the first set that he has lost so far today. Took the first set, split the second, won the third set, but Chang has come back, captured the fourth set, and trails five to three as the arrows are retrieved. And we're about to head now to the fifth set. And if Cheng Chusian is able to win this one, we're all tied up. Tie break, yep. Yeah. But if we tie on this set, if they tie in raw score, then Thomas Ober still wins. However, if Thomas Ober wins the set outright, then he does win the match. Nine points for Cheng. Solid devant. Du rythme jusqu'au bout. Eight points. Hi, Tom. Could this match be slipping away from Tomas Aubert? It's hard to tell because the, the weather is getting really rough out there. Another nine. If Thomas can shoot a ten, this would be ideal for him. Very, very ideal. Instead, it's a nine. And a ten here. Will clinch the set for Cheng. There's a 10. There it is. We are going to a tie breaking arrow. Your pal, Hugh McDonald, would be very happy about that. <laughs> he would be. He loves tie breaks. He lives for them. <laughs> so it's 28 26. Cheng has won back to back sets and has gotten himself back into the match. And you can't say enough about that. It shows the competitor in him and how he didn't give up when he was down 5-1. Yeah, and it, you can never give up, especially in set play. It's always up for grabs. And this is a very good case of how an archer can succeed in getting a tie break at least from in coming back from a four set point deficit. So it's time for the shootout now. One arrow. To decide everything, closest to the center. One arrow closest to the center. There is a chance that the targets might have needed some changing. I'm not sure. Yeah, the that's, fans that's on correct. the edge of their seat right now. They are. And the, the, the targets are getting changed, so there's going to be fresh new faces up there. So if it comes close, they will be measuring the arrow closest to the center. As we were looking at the American team in that front row at the bottom of the uh, picture was Rio Wild and Roger Willett Jr. We'll see Rio tomorrow in the gold medal match, the compound competition. He's enjoying the holiday here today and hoping he doesn't have to shoot under these conditions <laughs> tomorrow. Yeah, and it's uh, kind of a normal scene to see Rio Wild in the gold medal match. So here we go, the shootout. One and done. Closest to the center, Tomas Aubert with an eight. It's and you can eight. hear the crowd groan. That is kind of an open door for your competitor. If he just hits the yellow, this match is his. Oh, it's an eight. So I think we will be measuring. <laughs> Get out your rulers. Well, the judges will have calipers down there, and we're going to have to keep a close eye on the judges down downrange to find out who actually is closer. If it's if it's uh, actually equal, we will see a second shootout arrow, and those can be rare. It's not un it's not impossible because I have seen it done before, but to have it go to a second tiebreak arrow here, when you see the judges measuring with the caliber. How remarkable would it be if it came down to the exact same centimeter? It would be it wouldn't be unheard of, but it would be very remarkable, and I, I think that this does make it very exciting. I've never had more fun watching people measure things. <laughs> No, this, this is this is suspenseful. This keeps you very on the edge of your seat in the sport of archery. What were they saying about a game of inches? Game of centimeters. Game of centimeters. This could be a game of millimeters. Millimeters. Now. But I think it looks like. Let's see where the judge's hand goes. 
if he raises his... Here comes the decision. Chang Chu Sion wins the bronze medal. Wow. Wow. What a comeback for Chang Chu Sion, who you competed against this week, and he's gone on now to win the bronze medal in the men's recurve. And it always it feels nice to lose to somebody who eventually got a medal. So I don't feel as bad as I did before now. You helped him get to this point. I did. I was a <laughs> contributing factor to him getting his bronze medal. And for Tomas Bear, it's a tough moment right now. He had this match in the palm of his hands. Five to one, he was leading after the third set. But again, a great example and a great lesson for young archers out there. And boys, you can see the water really being whipped by the uh, wind right now. Mm. And all of our sponsor flags yes. are being, are, are showing us the exact direction of this wind too. So it does show us a tailwind. 